the Koreans of Andaman Islands are settlers brought from different parts of Burma, chiefly the Malmins, Hanzada and Basin to work as labourers for different sections of the island's forest department. This was because during the British Raj, there was an acute shortage of labourers. The first batch of 250 members came in the year 1925. Due to political unrest at Burma, the Koreans happily got settled and easily got rooted in this new soil at Maya Bandar. Initially, they called this village as Bonington and later named it as Webby, meaning the hidden city. With them, they brought in their rich culture and humble tradition, which they followed till date. Let's now see what Reverend so Ahaswe Roji has to say about his community. And slowly, slowly, when the Indian government came to the power, the Korean people started cultivating and uh, the land was allotted by the uh, Indian government. Now some are working in the forest department, some are education department, some are police department, and uh, in medical department also we have uh, doctors. Some are in the politics, women also we have Pradhan. Government Secondary School Webby is basically a school which was started by the Korean community themselves. And we feel proud of the two sisters of the Luji family, nor Mercy and nor Kulei Luji, who played a key role in beginning this institution. Even after 68 years of independence today, when we are working hard on Beti Bachao Beti Padao, the Korean girls are already enjoying all the respect and power in the society. Almost 60% of the students studying here comes from the Korean community. This itself sends a strong message to the society that this community is very optimistic. Koreans are mainly into Christianity. Hence, they celebrate all Christian festivals. However, Weddings are still a major event. Community lunch or dinner with traditional food items is still being practiced. Let's see what Brother Puya has to say about one of the locally prepared soups. Chow or cane or chicken, it seems. So, it's super. Koreans cultivate iron-rich rice, fondly known as Burma rice. Traditional medicines from local herbs are still famous here. President of the Korean Women Association, Nor Dolly, has explained some local herbs used for various illness. Koreans relish green leafy vegetables from cultivation, forest and mangroves. Bamboo is available in excess and so it is used in many of their dance forms. Today at the Kala Utsav, the Korean boys and girls of class 9th and 10th of this school presents a Korean folk dance which is performed by the youth after sunset. A wonderful culture of this community is that the girls are given the full right to choose their partners for a lifetime. In this performance, the men express their sincerity in love, interest and their ultimate desire to hold their hands for a commitment for a lifetime. Dancing gracefully to the beats of the bamboo, with rhythmic movements matching to that of their lady, the men just wait to get their consent. So keeping the tradition alive in their original form, in their costume, red and white, we have the young handsome men and the pretty ladies dancing to the tune of love. Nor Melba, our pre-primary teacher, was the lady behind the show and she shares the credit with Saw Justin George, Secretary, Korean Youth Club. At Kala Utsav, I, I want to present something very original. For this, I took the help of our Korean Youth Secretary, Saw Justin George. So he helped me a lot and among the students, Nor Bibi Dolly, she is very active and uh, she is very fast in picking the steps. We, the Korean, we have uh, different dancers for different occasions. 
and uh, we select this dance for the color itself and uh, because this song is full of uh, expression full of uh, joy basically performed by the youth the artists are very excited about their show so let's meet them hello myself shinies of class 10 in our community the women are given a lot of importance i am elena of class 9 because of this kala utsav i got a chance to learn about my culture my name is zohair ali and i am class 9 mein padhta hu kala utsav mein main apna best dunga society ke main kaksha nam mein padhta hu aur kala utsav mein jeet ke hu myself clotho of class 9 clotho main class 9 mein padhta hu kitna khub aap kanyao klo ब्लूम and make the world more beautiful i would now like to introduce the teachers who help us firstly melba madam she help us in uh, selecting of the dance secondly sheetal sunira and uh, zubeda ma'am uh, help us with practicing and making of the props faro sir help us with the making of the e project and everything in computer our team leader stephanie ma'am her idea are mind blowing and we all listen to her so to say cwsn of class 9th is a cute and talented boy born with 100% permanent physical handicap c he gave his full cooperation in making the props and is very excited about his friends These are the jingles that we put inside the bamboo, so as to make the rhythm, the sound, and it uh, adds to the uh, beauty in the dance. It was not a major issue for us to collect the information because of the help from the school alumni members. Various books were available with the local teachers and other resource persons. The school magazine Leteko Sunya was of great help to us. A very special thanks to Nurse Sandrina Le who shared some of her videos on Korean dressing and cultural program. We are also grateful to Brother Saw Elphones and Nurse Roslyn George who taught us about the authenticity and significance of makeup and korean dressing the thread stick to each other so it indicates that our korean people they love peace so this is especially when the korean women they used to go outside they put this cream to protect them from sunlight we shall always be obliged to our vice principal shri bharat bishwas who gave us the full freedom of resources and loads of encouragement and motivation जिसके तहत हम कला उत्सव मना रहे हैं हमारे स्कूली बच्चे और हमारे शिक्षक बहुत ही मेहनत से एक सुंदर नृत्य के कार्यक्रम करेन भाषा में है प्रस्तुत करते करने जा रहे हैं हम मैं हमारे इस विद्यालय की ओर से हमारे शिक्षक और बच्चों को बहुत ही प्रोत्साहित करते हैं कला उत्सव हैज गिवन बोथ स्टूडेंट्स एंड टीचर्स द चांस to not only venture into the culture and tradition of our own village but also to work towards a noble cause of beti bachao beti padhao we should encourage the youth and the coming generation to hold on to the good values in life along with their living tradition thank you